as always, I start out by kind of looking around the site, seeing where things are. There's been some pretty bad storms out here, hurricanes, and yeah, Taylor has to look around and see his surroundings. This is one of my instant tents. I haven't staked it down yet. I've got a few videos on putting these up, including a neighbor challenge. Uh, he didn't know I was going to give him a tent if he put it out for a video. These are nubby, rubberized gloves. When you extend these tent poles, it's easier if you've got something that's got a grip so you can extend them. Hi, Taylor. You like camping? My preferred place to sleep. Why did I bring a tent, put it up? Well, I'm gonna store a lot of this stuff in it. I don't normally carry everything that's in here. I did it so that I could show you things in the video. So why did I set this up when I can sleep in my van? Well, not many years ago, you'll all remember it, there was a pandemic. The tent becomes a bathroom a changing room, and a place to stage your stuff. I was asked if this could be a multi-purpose thing to boil water and how it would pour. So I'm going to turn it on right now. My power supply is at 99%. I'll see if it can pour water without burning me. Turning this up to a full 600 watts and boiling water for coffee. I know a lot of people want to see how much power it takes to run something like this which is a hot pot. The problem is, to show you properly, this goes between 250 or 600 watts. If it's 600 watts, it's gonna eat up the power on this. I, I really can't show you accurately. So, very carefully, yes, you can pour water out of that pot. I'm making supper, which is frozen vegetable soup. A soup from frozen brought this unit down to 83%. So that was a soup and hot water for coffee, and both were running at 600 watts. Something I love about this pot, it does get a bit warm, but it's extremely easy to clean. I have a portable campfire. <laughs> it's a bit too windy for a real campfire. I thought I'd take that out and see what it would do. Are you tired? You want to go to sleep? It's not quite dark yet.
see that. That is a bee of some sort. There's a lot of them out here. See, there's one there. And I don't want them in the van. So what I did, not only do I have the tent set up with the bathroom set up, but I also have the screen tent. And it's zipped up so that bees aren't going in there. Because they were. But I've also got this, which is a magnetic screen. To go in and out. And for cross ventilation, I've got one on the other side. And I'm not sponsored by anybody. It just, these are things I've tried, I purchased. Whether you have an RV or a van, these are nice to have. Riddle that I'm going to use will really drain the battery. I'm also charging my watch. Rubber gloves for cutting onions. Sun dried tomatoes. There's a lot of states that don't allow you to bring firewood from one state to the other, but this stuff, yeah, you can travel with. And that's how a fire burns with those bricks. <laughs> 